This video is going to go over the different parameters that can be changed or adjusted within the control panel for the MP2015. At the top here, you'll see the option to select whether your main output is sending a stereo or a mono signal. Then you have a headphone tone, which uh, enables you to turn up the treble or the bass in your headphones. Then you have a subtone crossover option, which allows you to change the EQ curve within the submix bus. Beneath that, there's a clean feed option. You would toggle this on or off depending on if you wanted the microphone to be captured in the main recording uh, or coming in through the monitors. So if you don't want to hear that on the main output or coming in the monitors, you want to turn clean, clean feed on. Uh, port MIDI enabled, I would keep this off unless you're going to use the mixer as a MIDI controller. But if you are, you, you need to turn it on. If you click on the deck input section, shows you the recording inputs. If you're using DVS, Serato DJ or Tractor or Virtual DJ or whatever, you'll want to make sure that these are set to phono slash CD because if they're set to post, you're not going to pick up any tracking signal. It's very important. Um, the post option would be useful if you were doing like multi-track recording. So underneath that is the tone crossover per channel that can be changed there. And lastly, you have your import and export options for the preferences of this particular control panel.